Um, now that's your relationship with your um, patients and clients at, wor at work, but what about friends and other uh, contacts? Were they informed? Um, certain close friends were informed. Not I'll, I'll be totally honest, not everybody yes. was informed, but certain close friends yeah. was informed. And they was all really, really good. And it, it changes that relationship. It does. Um, they become more precious to you and hopefully due to them. Mm. And I think I have done. Uh, and it makes you value the friendships more. Mm. And they perhaps take a bit more time for mm. them as well. Now you have a cancer, if you don't mind me saying, that the public might be more scared of or some might say there could be a stigma associated with it. It's not the only cancer that has that condition, not the only medical condition no, that has that, 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 that label, if, if you like. But does it mean that there's more of a barrier there that you have to break down? Or I think there is, yeah, mm. definitely. Mm. Because it's like when any man hears that, you think, wow, you know, this is like the end of life as I know it, sort mm. of thing. I mean, I don't know whether... I, f I think it was... I mean, for me personally, I think it was easier being married. Um, my wife knowing everything from day one. Mm. Whether what it would be like if you was a single person and not even got into a relationship yet, that might be more difficult or it might be less difficult. It I've, all depends on the person. Mm. But for me, I would sooner have found out being married than being on my own. Or at least in a supportive relationship. Exactly, yeah. Uh, yeah. And the fact is, that you described earlier, your family were literally involved from the day you were told. That's right, yeah. We all, they actually went along with We you. all knew at the same time. Mm. Yeah, so, so it, it sense, really was from day one. In a sense, they were invested in it and they were also told by that you know, medical professional. It didn't put you in a slightly difficult position of then having to tell them later. Do you know what I mean? That's right. Yeah, and I, I just don't know how I would have done that. Mm. I mean, I didn't have to do it, but I just don't know how I would have done it. I mean, yeah. obviously I'd have had to, mm. but I don't know how I'd have done that. And I mean, perhaps that helps some people rather than tell family members or partners themselves, having somebody there with them to say, right, this is what's happened. Yeah. And perhaps that would be a good thing. Well, we try to encourage that to some extent by having sometimes the offer of a patient advocate. Yeah. Uh, sometimes called PALS, but there's various um, types. And in the US, they have very strong on patient advocates and navigators, which help the patient go through each step in a supported way. Uh, we're perhaps learning to do that more here. We should invest more in that, definitely. Mm. Yeah, because I think that would be a great help. Mm. A great help. Mm. Returning to this issue of the stigma, did you ever come across any odd or unhelpful or surprising reactions? Or was it all good, if you see what I mean? Um, there was a couple, of, not from professional people. No. Um, there was a couple of my wife's friends hmm. who couldn't cope with it at all. Hmm. Um, I, I, I know them, but... Uh, they're not my friends, if you know what I mean. They're yeah. more my wife's side. Mm. And they couldn't face coming to the house at all. Mm. They, would, they would ring, but they would never speak to me. Mm. They would only ever speak to my wife. Mm. And they just didn't cope with it. Mm. Now, these are not like young people. They're, they're both professional people, mm. but just couldn't cope with it. Yeah. But I understood. I did understand. Mm. And perhaps emotionally, the they just didn't want anything to do with it, I don't know. Sometimes people are scared of the concept of the diagnosis, so they um, don't want to be associated with it because it raises an anxiety in them. Yeah. Sometimes it's more that they don't know what to say in a supportive sense. Uh, They're kind of a bit stuck. Yeah, so that's what my they wife said, they just wouldn't know what to say to me. Avoid the situation. Yeah, so that we just didn't see them. Yeah. When we've, I've seen them since I've been better and I'm well, yeah. but why I was ill and or they just didn't come near. Yeah. And I, they didn't really have an awful lot of contact with my wife, mm. which was sad in a way because it's not just me who needs support, it's your partner that needs support as well. Yeah.